It's still springtime and the brush and ground in Southern California is already drier than it usually is in August. And that means we could see more fires this summer. A new climate study says tonight the moisture content in western states is lower than it's been in 125 years. It makes for a recipe for a record-breaking wildfire season. And Kick Online's Jeff Nguyen is live in Pasadena with that part of the story tonight. Jeff. Jeff and Susie, the view behind me is certainly a draw for anyone who lives in this community, but it comes with a price. And we're not talking about the property tax. Instead, all of this right here, dry, dangerous brush that's combustible. And tonight, scientists say the problem goes all the way down to the roots. Hear the helicopters. Uh, there's definitely, you know, it brings back a lot of memories. Sarah Waddell lives in the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains near last year's Bobcat fire. Her neighborhood has constant reminders that fire threats are year round. Just the winds the other day made us all think about it again. I'm scared. Chad Augustine is the chief of the Pasadena Fire Department who recently moved here from Northern California. I'm nervous. Last year being the worst fire season on record, um, this year is definitely shaping up to be even worse. Mark Jackson is a meteorologist with NOAA. He says this map from the U.S. Drought Monitor says it all. The soil in the western United States is record dry for this time of year. This year, 73% of the state right now is in what's considered to be extreme to exceptional droughts. Add to that, a recent UCLA study calculated the soil in the West is the driest it's been since 1895. We've had some years, some very, very dry periods, such as around, you know, around 2015, where downtown Los Angeles hardly received any rainfall at all for the winter season. The lack of rain and brush that hasn't burned in decades can easily fuel a fire, which is why scientists and fire chiefs are asking all of us to keep defensible space around our homes and take evacuation alerts seriously. I had our cars were packed with our belongings for six weeks last fall. And the fire threat is so bad, Governor Newsom today announced a $2 billion proposal that includes hiring 1,400 seasonal firefighters and bringing in a fleet of aircraft. We're live in Pasadena, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.